Hello, my name is Alejandro Santana, and today I will be demonstrating the implementation of Y1 of the Y1 and Y2 uh, NOR circuits on part G of Lab 1. Okay, so right here we have the circuit um, wired into the board. I have downloaded the internal um, schematics into the into the chip from the driver. Uh, from Quartus. So all we have wired here is just the uh, switch circuits, the resistor, and then the light up LED indicating the inputs and the output. So um, as we can see, the, the switch circuits I have chosen, uh, switches one, two, and three as the indicators for um, inputs A, B, and C respectively. And those, uh, whenever any of them are turned on, uh, whenever A is turned on, the bottom most LED light will turn on. When B is turned on, the second one from the bottom will turn on, and then the third one will turn on when C is on. And then for the output LEDs, I have chosen the top most for Y1 and the one under it as Y2. Alright, so now I will go over the truth table in numerical order. So starting off, as we can see, all inputs are zero, as we can see indicated by the switches and none of the LEDs being turned on. And as a result, uh, what the Y1 and Y2 Boolean expressions also result in zero. So secondly, we will do zero, zero, 001. As we can see, zero, zero, 001 indicated as the LED, both Y1 and Y2. Uh, result in false. Next is zero one zero. Oh, sorry, wrong one. Zero one zero results in y one being false. However, y two is true. Next is zero one one. You can see 0, 1, 1 results in both Y1 and Y2 to be true. Next is 1, 0, 0. So you can see indicated by the input LEDs, 1, 0, 0. Y1 is false and Y2 is true. Next, I will do 1, 0, 1. 101 indicated by the input LEDs, and in this case, Y1 is true while Y2 is false. Next is 110 indicated by the inputs, 110, and in this case, both Y1 and Y2 are true. And the final one is 111, and in this case, we can see LEDs, all in, uh, A, B, and C are lit up and Y1 and Y2 are both true. And yeah, that was my implementation for this, uh, for this lab.